Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to showcase their custom visual known as the Bowtie Chart. This visual is fantastic for showcasing relationships, basically categorically separating values in a hierarchical fashion. It's going to let us show connected elements using smooth flowing lines, as well as we're going to see that the size of those lines changes to show the breakdown of information. And we're going to see that we have two capabilities on what we can do this. We can have this be shown between two different categories or a singular one, whether it's going to be a full bow tie or a half bow tie. So let's go ahead and examine and look at this custom visual, the bow tie chart by MAQ Software in Power BI. So here we are in the report itself, looking at both a half bow tie and a full bow tie. And we can see when we select the visual itself that we have three options at our disposal when it comes to mapping in the field pane. We have the source, the value, and the destination. Now it should be noted that the value field is required and only one of the others, the source or the destination, is required. That's if you only leverage one of them, the source or the destination, then you're going to result in what we have here in the half bow time. When you leverage both the source and destination along with the value, then you have your full bow tie here. It should be important that all of these fields, they only accept one input value. For the value, of course, it needs to be a measure or a numeric column. And then for the source and destination, they need to be more categorical values. It should be noted that for the value, of course, you have access to the various types of aggregations that you wanted to choose beyond just some. You have access to all of these. And there actually are quite a few elements in the formatting pane that we can do specifically for this chart itself. So if we go here into the format area, we'll notice that in the general section, we can, of course, control the positioning, but the arc fill can be changed at this juncture too. So we can see I can just change this over to a pleasant little purple. Beyond general, we do have the title that we can turn on and off. Currently, I have it on in this example, but you can see we can change the title itself if we wanted to. We could add a specific tooltip upon hovering that could be displayed. And naturally, the color as well as text size can be amended here also, just to make it a little more visible. The data labels also do give us the capability for the traditional formatting options we would come and want to have here. So making it maybe a darker, more pronounced coloration. We can switch this from display units being none. If we wanted to do some rounding here, we could do that too. And naturally, making that a little more pronounced would be critical as well, making that pop a little bit more. The last specific item to this custom visual is going to be the summary label settings. We're talking about this value that's right here in that central area here. So we can turn that, once again, display units and display size. We can change it to make it a little more visible. That should be noted, we do have this ability to turn on an indicator. And what's going to happen here is we have this capability of, let's actually make this a value that is exceeding it. So we can specify a threshold. And when the value in, inside there is below this, you can see it has a negative red indicator. While uh, when it is above it, so if we were to maybe change this to something else, it'll turn green. So we have this capability of giving us very much like a stoplight scenario right here within this bow tie element. So lots of fun, easy options to set. This gives us that capability, as we mentioned, as you can see, all the ideas of interactive filtering in play. So we have on the left hand side how our 27,000 value is split up between years and how it's split up between months, and this is months over these years. But if I were to you hit 2016 on this half bow tie, notice that our full bow tie gets filtered and we can see the breakdown of that specifically. So all those elements that you, would, you know and love within Power BI available within this custom visual, the bow tie chart by MAQ Software. And thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at PragmaticWorks by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com. Take care.